Hello, very good day all of you. In this video, I am going to teach you one of the most important things you have to use when you are dealing with survey calculation. When you are doing land survey, you will have to calculate land areas. In there, you have to use this trapezoidal rule method. Then we will see how to calculate any area using trapezoidal rule. If our shaded area, shaded area means the area beneath this boundary is surrounded by a straight line like this straight line, we can calculate that shaded area very easily using our simple mathematics. But if our boundary is a curved line, it means non straight line, what should be done? Then we have to use a different method. There are several methods such as trapezoidal rule, Simpson rule and so many things. Here I am going to teach you about the trapezoidal rule. In our trapezoidal rule, we have to divide our area. It means our boundary area. We will tell this as a shaded area into several trapezoids. Keep it in mind. It's better to make the width of each trapezoid equal. Here you can see one trapezoid is available. Then you have to divide the whole area into several trapezoids. Then what should be done? Then you have to connect each rest of the trapezoid. Then you have simplified your boundary line into a straight line. It means you have converted this curve line into a straight line. Then what is going to be done? Here you can see we are neglecting some portion of our area. Here we are adding some portion of our area. The theory behind this is we are going to equalize the neglection and the addition. That is the thing. Now you will be able to understand that if we are dividing our boundary area into more trapezoids, our final answer will be more reliable. That is the best thing. But if we are dealing with surveying thing, that division is some sort of tedious. Then we will see how to calculate the shaded area using our trapezoidal rule. First of all, I will annotate this A, B, C, D like that. I will annotate this each and every trapezoid. Then I will number them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. There are 7 trapezoids. Here you can see I have made the heights of each trapezoid, each legs of trapezoid that H1, H2, H3 and until H8. And I have made the width of each trapezoid as W. Here each and every width of my trapezoids are equal. Don't worry. If we are having unequal trapezoidal widths, we can also use this method. Here, using our simple mathematics and our simple knowledge, we can say that the boundary area, it means enclosed area, is the summation of each and every area of each and every trapezoid. It means total area is the sum of area 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. That is the thing. Now we will directly go to the trapezoidal root calculation. Here, this is the picture I am going to use. You can see area of first trapezoid is H1 plus H2 divided by 2 into W. Area of second trapezoid H2 plus H3 divided by 2 into W. Like that. Total area is the sum of all trapezoids. That is a very simple argument. And we can write it down as this. This is the notation you have to use when you are dealing with this sum. And this is the common equation. You can use any sort of area calculation using trapezoidal rule. We will directly go to a calculation. It means example calculation. This is the example calculation. I will read it according to the field data, the area enclosed by a survey line, a third boundary and two end ordinates are mentioned below. Ordinates are the opposite. Don't get panic. 
ड्यू टू दिस वर्ड ये यू कैन सी दिस आर द चेनेज जीरो ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सिक्सटी एटी हंड्रेड हंड्रेड थर्टी हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एंड हंड्रेड नाइंटी एंड दिस आर द ऑफ सिट लेंस फ्रॉम जीरो टू हंड्रेड द गैप ऑफ टू लाइंस इज ओनली ट्वेंटी मीटर इट पीन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू लेग्स ऑफ आवर ट्रेपिसोइड is 20 meter but from 100 to 190 that has become 30 meter then we have to use our trapezoidal rule dividing into two parts that is from 0 to 100 we have to use our trapezoidal rule once then from 100 to 190 we have to use it again then i will show you the way of doing that here you can see area within the chain edge 0 to 100 is 20 into this equation you can see 9.67 is this offset 12.13 is the final offset and you can see the summation of each and every other legs 10.65 It is here 7.45. It is here 8.54. It is here 7.67. That is here. Okay. You can remember the previously used equation of mine. This is n1. It is first offset. This is nn. It means last offset. And this is second, third, like that. Our final answer is 904.5. If our Lens are calculated in meter. We can make it as square meters. That is a very small thing. Then the area within chain edge range 100 to 190. It means when our distance become 30, that is like this. You can see here W. This is the width. We have made this 30 previously. That was 20. And this area is 959.4. That that is a very simple thing. Total area is 904.5 plus 959.4. Answer is 1863.9 square meter. That is a very easy thing. This is the trapezoidal rule. You don't need to worry. Now you know what is called trapezoidal rule. Then you can calculate any area using this trapezoidal rule. Then I will give you another example. Here you can see same type of example is here, but here. This is some sort of difficult, not difficult, some sort of different. Zero to hundred, chain edge distance is twenty, but hundred to hundred ninety, chain edge distance is thirty. Then hundred and ninety to three hundred and ten, chain edge distance is forty. Then what should be done? You have to use three separate trapezoidal calculation. First one is to here. Second one is from 100 to 190. Last one is from 190 to 310. I am not going to calculate it here. You have to calculate, and you have to try this example. And if you are having any issue, let me know. I will definitely help you to get them solved. And I think you got each and every steps described by me. Actually, this is a very easy thing. So many students get upset, get panic due to this type of area calculation. In my next video, I will describe you the way of calculating areas using Simpson's rule. Like that, I will continue this session until I complete each and every required lectures for area and volume calculation. So, keep connected with my YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed me, now you have to subscribe me. Cheers! Have a nice day. We will meet with another video as soon as possible. I am Madhujit Sagar. If you are a newcomer to my YouTube channel, just type Madhu Sagar in YouTube. Then you will find my channel. Then get inside and subscribe. Pressing bell icon will make you notify about my each and every latest updates. You can have so many videos under various playlists in my multidisciplinary YouTube channel. So get in touch. I will do my best to make you rich in knowledge.